Hey, feeling good, like I should. When in the blue, walk around the neighborhood. Feeling blessed, never stressed. Got that sunshine on my Sunday bed. Are you bored? Well, you have come to the right video. My name is Annie, and today's video is going to be a 50 things to do when you are bored at home and alone video. I just feel like everyone needs this video. No matter how busy you are, there definitely are times when you're bored. This video took a total of about three hours to film, so please smash the like button because I would love it if YouTube recommended this video to more people. Without further ado, let's roll the clips. Start a YouTube channel. YouTube has brought me so much happiness and has actually occupied a lot of my time, which is probably why I'm rarely bored. I know that YouTube isn't for everyone, but I would just give it a try. Watch my YouTube channel. It's greatly appreciated. Start some Pinterest boards. Get ahead and plan out your life. Take pictures for Instagram. Edit Instagram pictures. I personally use Visco X to edit my Instagram pictures. Start a new Instagram feed, archive old pictures you don't like, figure out what filters you like, organize your emails, make fan edits. The ones that have been made for me are super cute and I appreciate it. Learn a new language. I'm currently learning Chinese and Spanish on Duolingo and I'm also learning Spanish at school. Plan out YouTube videos. I used to not really plan out my YouTube videos and I just kind of do them on the limb and not really think about them, but lately I've been planning a ton and I honestly think that it's improving my content a lot. Make a song on GarageBand. This is honestly so fun. Write an original song. It's hard to just sit down and say that you're gonna write an original song, but if your feelings are there, I say go for it. You'll be surprised about how many emotions and great lyrics come out. Discover new music. Listen to Pretty Basic on Spotify. The podcast is so good, and I love getting insight on Remy Ashton's and Alicia Marie's life. Make Spotify playlists. Sing along to karaoke videos. Make smoothies and search up smoothie recipes on Pinterest. I will share my smoothie recipe right over here. Bake. Watch ASMR. This will help you go to sleep so you don't have to actually deal with your boredom. And by the time you wake up, maybe you'll have something to do. Go on a walk somewhere beautiful. I love walks because honestly, they don't hurt that much, but it's good exercise. And especially when you go on a walk with a friend, you get so distracted that you don't even think about what you're doing. At home workouts. I love Gabriella Whited's workouts and they have transformed my body. Jump on the trampoline until you're exhausted. Take a shower. It'll clear your mind and let creativity in. Do a face mask. Dance. Online shop. Reorganize your room and move around furniture. Journal about your emotions. Plan out outfits for the future. Try to beat your score on mobile games. Annoy your siblings. This one may come off as a joke, but honestly, getting more time around your siblings is so important, and my siblings are in high school, so I really want to appreciate the time I have with them now and not take that for granted. Reach out to companies for sponsorships. This could literally take up to hours, but the rewards are there. Read interesting books. Not books that you're forced to read, but read for leisure. You know, a lot of times in school, they want us to read all these books that we don't actually enjoy, but... I think that a lot of times we say we don't like reading because we're so used to being forced to read certain books, but when you read what you're passionate about, it really changes the game for you. Since so much of our life is mobile based, you can listen to a book on Audible. Text all of your friends a hey, like copy and paste it to legit all your contacts if you are actually so desperate. Practice your sports. Give yourself a goal of improvement when you practice. For example, 17 touches on the volleyball before the ball hits the ground. I feel like when you practice with a goal, it makes you so much more focused than just playing around without a goal. Learn a new instrument. Sell your clothes online. Reorganize your phone. I do this one all the time. I just think that reorganizing your apps is so satisfying. Study your YouTube analytics. I figured out so many things by looking at my analytics. Watch your favorite movie. Write a memoir or a short story. Start a blog. I have started multiple blogs in my life. I have never continued with the blogs. Art journal or draw. Create a wish list for your birthday. Reflect on your life choices, like literally sit in bed and think about them. A lot of times when we're alone at home and we're bored, we just constantly want company, but I think that it's really important to take that time when we're bored to actually reflect on things that we're doing. And I think that you can make a lot of life improvements by just sitting and thinking about your current life choices and what you'd like to improve on. Do your makeup. Test hairstyles out for school. 
Paint your nails. I cannot paint my nails to save my life, so this one's not very helpful for me. Write letters. This one is so important. I feel like we really get in touch with our peers when we actually take the time to write a letter. I actually wrote a letter to Caroline Manning a few weeks ago. I treasure the letter she sent back to me. Make a friendship bracelet. Make multiple for all of your friends. This will take up a lot of time. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please let me know if you guys enjoyed this because if you guys liked it, I will film more videos that take me like hours because I know that you guys like them. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see more of me and please push that notification bell. I realized that I never really asked people to hit the notification bell, but I'm going to now. My social medias are all down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.